All right, guys, let's get into this one. I have a feeling today's video is going to be extra dramatic. Um, a letter came out today, an open letter to pause giant AI experiments. They want people to stop working on this stuff for like six months or so, maybe longer, but until we figure things out, I guess. Now, before I get into some of the opinions and details, and obviously this is going to be kind of an emotional topic for a lot of people, um, let's follow the money a little bit, because that usually will give us an idea of why people are making a lot of these decisions. There's a very interesting and very heavy hitting list of names here. And if you follow the money, you're going to see that a lot of these folks are people who are basically not making money in the AI space or people who have yet to make money in the AI space. I'm not going to pretend to know all of these names, but there's quite a few that are going to stick out to you. Very, very popular, very common names. First one that sticks out to me is Elon Musk. Now, for those of you who have already blocked him on Twitter, you may not be aware, but he's been raving about OpenAI lately, and he's just been very anti-Sam Altman. But a couple of the headlines I didn't get a chance to cover in some of my other videos, we've got Sam Altman referring to him as a jerk and basically saying he was furious about ChatGPT being successful. Elon Musk has even been quoted as saying he was going to make his own rival like some anti-woke agenda AI system. I, I don't I don't know. It's It's Elon Musk, you guys. I didn't even feel all that long ago, I specifically called out Apple had missed the bus on the AI train, and they're just now getting into it with stuff like Siri. It's a long list here, and not all of these names are actually accurate. We're going to get to that in a minute, but before I do, I did want to cover the fact that Emod is here on this list. Now, while Emod is a CEO of Stability AI and the money behind what you might consider to be stable diffusion, that's not actually accurate. The model was owned by Runway ML. Stability AI actually just put in a lot of processing power. And as far as I know, Dream Studio is not yet a profitable venture. Now, names like this, the CEO of Getty Images, I totally get that, but Imad I didn't really expect. So I did turn to Twitter to see what he was saying about it and how he was basically speaking about it. While I won't necessarily say Imad was walking back what he said, he did appear to be making efforts to clarify what he said and basically saying, I don't exactly believe what this is saying, but the idea, the premise of it might be a good idea or at least something to think about. So that part I'll leave to your own judgment. I do think pointing out that OpenAI themselves has expressed concerns about safety, about security. I don't think that's necessarily a wrong thing to point out. Sam Altman has been pretty forward about that, but also Microsoft and Sam Altman have been also pretty forward about, we're going to keep working on this thing. We are working towards AGI. And that is kind of the idea behind all of this. So I'll point you to this because it does pertain to what OpenAI themselves was saying about the future of AGI and the future of GPT technology. Basically, they wanted to get independent review before starting to train future systems. But I think it's also safe to say that they weren't calling for a straight up pause. They weren't looking to halt efforts completely and sit on their thumbs. Now, heading over here and taking a look at the Stability AI Twitter account, we do see a little bit of a similar message in terms of, we don't necessarily agree with this whole thing, but you know, the spirit of it, cool, we're, we're behind that. Thanks to some Redditors and some people offering Twitter clarification, we did discover that there were names that were appearing on the list that people, they themselves, didn't put it there. The chief AI scientist at Meta, their name magically appeared on the list without their knowledge. And regardless of how it got there or anything else, one thing that a lot of these folks on this list have in common is they all would benefit, absolutely, if AI was halted. Probably so they can get a jump start on the technology themselves because a lot of them have missed the boat. This letter goes on to describe AI as an out-of-control space race, so to speak, where it's just becoming more and more dangerous. Now, I might get into a video at some point where I go into the philosophy of the should we type of thing, but the biggest question really here, especially for the reactionary United States citizens, are a lot of these competing countries to the United States, countries like China, for example, are currently working on AI technology themselves. And a letter like this does nothing to stop other countries from continuing to work on these very same fears. The other issue that people really should be hyper aware of is that this type of technology is going to allow us to become more strategic and better at things, including military science. This technology is too powerful not to continue to work on, regardless of some of those risks and some of those changes that are going to absolutely take place. Reading through this letter is ridiculous. Should we automate away all the jobs, including the fulfilling ones? Nobody is doing that. And nobody is planning on doing that, just, just to be extra clear. Should we develop non-human minds that might eventually outnumber, outsmart, obsolete us, and replace us? That's just fear-mongering. Should we risk the loss of control of our civilization? And let me point out that other civilizations are working on this technology as well. 
Let me fast forward a couple of years in the future. If that, here's a wild question for you, because it will happen. Which country do you think will be the first to put its entire military under the control of artificial general intelligence? That's the future that we're generally heading towards. And if we stop working on artificial intelligence, that doesn't mean anyone else is going to. And six months might seem like a small amount of time, but if we look at just what's been created and innovated on in the last three months in the AI space, Look at my videos. There's enough to cover a news video every week with all of the amazing new headlines for all of the technology that's coming out. What would six months do to us? Now, like Imad, like Stability AI, there are some safety concerns I think we should always be mindful of. But I definitely don't think an extreme like this is ever necessary. This is basically asking people with guns to step in and stop companies from working on technologies. Not to mention that this, even if it did come to pass, would do absolutely nothing for the open source developers who are literally working on this stuff from their basements. So yeah, I didn't expect to do a news video today, but this seemed like a breaking event that I did want to cover right when it happened. But I really like to start a discussion here with what's going on in this letter. What are some of the safety concerns that you may have? What are some of the things that we really should focus on? This is extreme. This is way over the top. And to be honest, I don't think that this is really going anywhere. It's silly. But it is a reflection of the fears that a lot of people have, whether it's the fear of being left behind, like a lot of these folks on this list here, or, the, or it's the fear of just being replaced when I guess you don't feel very valuable. Because we, we've talked about this. We've talked about this before, especially with the art scene and everything that's going on in AI art. And this is an eventuality. This is a toothpaste you cannot put back into the tube. The genie is out of the bottle. The way that I look at AI is almost like the discovery of fire, and you can't unlearn this stuff. Now that we know that this is possible, we're just going to recreate it in a different way if one method gets banned or stopped. And because the geniuses that developed a lot of this stuff used very simple tools to do so, it's very easy to duplicate. Machine learning is just a concept. You can't stop a concept. You can't actually win the war on drugs, for example. Anyway, I wish it was under better circumstances, but I do appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. And, I, and like I said, I am looking forward to seeing your comments below. So let me know what you think. I'll leave some links in the description below so you guys can check out some of these individual pages if you want. But as always, thanks for watching.